Shall we begin? How do you know when you've had a bad day? There's a good, good uh, sign of it right there. A farmer come out and was uh, trying to cut off all this grass for hay. And he got over here in the soup. Now he's gonna have to have a wrecker pull him out, especially as deep as he's got it sunk. Got her buried, clear to the axle. Not good. First attempt. Got a bigger tractor. Well, I guess it's ain't the first, but got a bigger tractor and snatching and tugging on it. And that didn't get it. It's still stuck. Hardcore. Matter of fact, it seems like it's sinking more. Now, what I don't get, you bring a truck like that out here that's capable of toting dirt and that big monster tractor, and then you just use the tractor to pull the, the other one out. Does it not make more sense to unhook the truck and back it up? and hook the chain to the truck and pull the whole thing out. Maybe it's just me. Got that sucker sucked pretty doggone good. Well, at least if nothing else, we got that part of our property mode. Of course, that's mine, but my, my part of it's not soupy like that. It's only when you get past that orange and white pole out there that it gets real soupy. The heck? Oh, I was fixing to say, I know they're not going to try and get it out with a doggone forklift. You'd have to get that sucker out with a tow truck. Well, they got the tractor unstuck from over there. And then he proceeded to knock my jungle down here. I didn't cut this, if you can tell. That's cut with the grass shear. And this is a whole lot faster than I could have done it. I think I need to hire the old fellow to come back more often. Of course, he's not done back there yet. Hey, what he don't cut, I have to. But this right here is a godsend. Not sure exactly what all they wound up using to get the tractor out, but he's out and, and mowing now. There he goes. Looks like most of the mud rolled right off the tires for him. But he's uh he's out here booking it. Cause all that was still grown up. All this right in here, below the where the truck's sitting, was still thick, uh, thick straw and hay and everything. Tall, really tall grass like that little patch over there. He won't go into it because, of course, that's where he got stuck before. And that whole little area right there is nothing but soup. But, yeah. Ah, there he's back over here finishing it up. This guy has done in one afternoon what it would take me probably six days to do myself. All that, all the way back there. 
that you see before the tall grass has started. That's all my property that I usually have to cut with a riding mower. This is part of the reason that my mowers get beat all the hell out here. From that fence all the way across to where the tall grass is, all the way over to the other side of that ditch on the other side of the farthest tree where the where you see the tall grass again. Of course the other side of the ditch, part of that's mine too, but only a little wedge shape of it. They got this property divided up screwy. But yeah, all this is knocked down for me and it'll be picked up for animals to feed them. So yeah, I'm loving it. Thank <laughs> you.